Burberry True, welcome back. I'm Daria and the Burberry Hills. Guys, I have tea for you coming from here from Burberry Hills, but before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Do it right now, it really helps me a lot. We are on the race to 15K, so if you are new here and you want to join the Burberry Troop, subscribe, 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 hit that notification bell. And let's talk about this mess because, guys, yeah, another victim from Tom Girardi is coming forward it's like when you think it's over no just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over and if you really uh, i forget the song anyways it is not over and we have a new victim her name is virginia antonio and she was a victim on of a very bad horrible car accident she of course went into the lawsuit she settled she was supposed to get paid 1.2 million dollars uh this was back in 2012 right and the settlement the due date for the payment was on december 31st of 2018 so mind you that already from 2012 to 2018 how many years are in there okay so now, of course, Gerardi was, I mean, Tom Gerardi started to making this like partial payments here and there. And she, and then she had to wait for almost nine years. And now she didn't get all her money as usual, as we know everything that is happening with Tom Gerardi. <sighs> Why? First of all, I don't, I mean, I have never had to sue anyone uh, before, so I don't know how these payments work, but I'm thinking that it should be as easy as, bitch, give me my money. I don't want any fucking like settlement payments for like a thousand years. No, give me all my money right now. So I don't know, like if you have sued someone before, let me know in the comments below because I don't understand why do I have to wait a lot of years to get my money or second or i'm so sorry it's just that tom was that's like tom's tactic to get people's money you know like maybe they actually give him the whole money well of course that was what's happened you know they actually give him the other whole money and but he was deciding to just pay little here little there little here little there and then stop paying at all it makes me so mad to every time that I have to do any news, um, Tom or, or Erica, because it's like, why? Uh, how are you living with yourself? How are you having a conscience when you are taking money from these kind of things, the, of people, you know? Like, look, if they were like stealing from huge corporations or, you know, something like that, it is wrong, but you know, it doesn't feel that hor horrible, you know? But when you are actually stealing money from victims, from actual human beings who went through horrible experiences on their lives, who lost their loved ones, how do you take money from them? Like, I, I don't, I don't get it. I do not get it. What kind of, how, what happened in these people's minds to do something like this? Anyways, that was a little tip that I have for you guys. Another big team bites the dust, and I'm guessing it's gonna get in line, right? If the trustees ever evict. Tom from the mansion or ever take any of the assets maybe they will get some of the money but I don't know it seems quite not possible let me know what you guys think in the comments below and don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and I'll see you around see ya